Hello out there subscribers and friends, this is Surviving 2 coming at you with another video. Well, let's get it out of its pouch. I'm gonna, you probably won't see much of my head. Got the camera back by as far as I can go. And I'll probably speed this up, even though it shouldn't take very long to put this thing up. It all comes in its own little bag. Bring that up there. Comes in this nice little bag that has two sets of straps, one here, there, this one and this one along with two D rings on each one of them so that you can strap it to the outside of your pack or whatever. And it's not that big. So let's get to going. There's the rain fly. I'll lay that over there. Poles for the rain fly. Got a repair kit that came with it. There's stakes for the rain fly and the tarp itself, uh, the bed net itself. Put that over there. Now this thing is dangerous to open. They recommend you to take it and Stick it under your arm, release pressure on this strap. Now I gotta find the buckle. Oh, there's no buckle on this one, that's right. Then you take the strap off and you throw it aside. Now you gotta be real careful when opening this thing because it will, as you see, it's under great tension. Now Here's the rest of it, and there's that. Get a stake or two. Just take this end of it here, put the stake in it. Put it in the ground. There we go. Take the other end of it over here. Pull it out. Stake it in the ground. And basically that's it. I hope it's all, yeah, it's all in frame. So that's uh, basically it. That's all there is to putting it up. Now you can also take this thing and put it on a cot, a regular army cot. There's six clips that attach to an army cot. One here, one on that corner, one in the middle, one in the middle on there, and two at the other end. You just open it up here you climb into it, and that's it. This bottom portion is waterproof down here, this lower section, so you're not worried about rain or anything. It's up about maybe six inches, something like that. There's a little bag on the inside that you can take and put your valuables in when you want to. And it's a double, double whammy zipper, so you can open it and close it from either end. Now let's see what it takes to put the rain fly on it. It's a bungee shock cord uh, net here, and I don't know if there's either end that's particularly needed. Down here there's a grommet that you put that one into, then you take this end and you put it into 
this grommet down here. Now there's the pole. You take and clip it there, clip it there. Now that's got the starts of putting the rain fly on it. Let's see how easy or hard this rain fly is to put up. Once I figure out which side is which. Like I say, I've never done this before, so we're in new territory here, people. Oh, okay. I see it. There's two zippers. One to climb into the bed net and another one for the back side that stretches out and that's where you put your pack at. So, let me get this over. Okay, this end has got a place to go over the stake also. I'm just going to slip that over that. Take this other one. Slip it over this stake. There we go. Now, I'm not sure whether there's any clips inside here. door for the system. Oh, yeah. Oh, and look at this. There's, it looks like an air vent. So you can air vent, get some air. Yeah, there's a vent, there's a uh, Velcro on the other side too that I can open up. Now, this just ties off. Not real thrilled about the tying off portion of it. I'm gonna see if I can have to figure something else out on that but it ties off to the top here. That one. Get a few more stakes here and we'll stake it out. Oh, these stakes, I gotta show you these stakes. These are really unusual. Look how they're twisted. They're twisted uh, when you put them in the ground, they like screw themselves down in here. And if you have a wrench that's this size here on the top, you can get uh, a wrench on it and put it in the ground if it's really hard. So I just take it and pull it out. Let's take it down there. Probably got to come out to here. Let's take it down.
Same way over here. Make sure. Yep, that shuts with no problem. I could actually tighten it on up a little more by bringing it out. There we go. Now let me do the back side. And there we go. That's set up. I'll, uh, <coughs> excuse me. There's two stakes left. And I notice there's a, a tie out right here where I can probably guy it down. And probably one in the back. Yep, there's one back here, right here, where I can take and guy it out also to the ground and steady it up a lot more. So they give you plenty of stakes. And those are some heavy duty stakes. So you can't really bend them. So as you see, it's got Velcro there. Open it up and you can roll this back. Tie it off here. You got access to your bug net system, which is great. There's ties on here if you wanted to and you weren't, there weren't any bugs or anything you could probably roll this back up and tie it off up here at the top and have access to stuff now let me get you off of the tripod and we'll take a look at the back side come on off of there there you go now you're cooking Okay, here's the back side and the bed net as you can see a corner of it right here this extends out pretty good ways and then there's this other zipper right here that will allow you to open it I ah, trying to do this one-handed let's get some foot assistance here Another Velcro, another Velcro. So now I can take my pack and put it under here and it'll keep it <coughs> nice and dry in rainy weather. Still leave me access to it. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put some sort of ground cloth down there or something like that. Now here's the the vents right here there's one here it's all velcroed up i'm not going to take the time to do it then there's one here at the top goes all the way right there then another one over here on this end that's right in here and i can open it up from the inside and get some air movement through there at least have a little bit of air well that's how it sets up and I guess that's about all I can say about it looks like a pretty neat system a ground cloth would definitely be an advantage to have under it just in case even though it says uh, the bottom's waterproof where you put your pack and all if it's raining not so good all right That'll be it for this video. Y'all take care out there. Later. 
I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.